standing in the dusty local government bank's office, waiting to be served. I scanned the room for a distraction. A large fan buzzed over my head, and the sounds of background Tamil conversations rapidly overlapped each other as everyone appeared to talk at once. A customer is the most important visitor on our premises. He is not dependent on us. We are dependent on him. He is not an interruption in our work. He is the purpose of it. He is not an outsider in our business. He is part of it. We are not doing him a favor by serving him. He is doing us a favor by giving us an opportunity to do so. Mahatma Gandhi. This was the plaque mounted in a cheap plastic frame on the wall right in front of the scantily manned counter area. That's nice, I thought. I didn't know Gandhi had written something like that, and it was reassuring to see it proudly and patriotically displayed in the village bank. I checked the time, twelve fifty-eight. It was lucky I came now. I thought to myself, there was no one else waiting for the sole cashier who hadn't yet looked up to call me over. I inched my way closer to her cubicle. Still, nothing. No friendly smile welcomed my presence. The cashier didn't even look up. I politely cleared my throat. <clears throat> I'd like to deposit this check. I said gingerly, pushing the paperwork under the grubby glass partition. Still no response. The cashier locked her drawer and stuffed the keys into a sari fold. <clears throat> Madam, I added. She gave me a withering look. Lunch time, she growled as she swiftly put up the closed sign. Turned and left me standing there, looking on in complete disbelief. But, madam, I implored after her, "There's no one else here to serve me." Come after two, she grumbled, still not making eye contact, and disappeared. Speechless. To say I was speechless was an understatement. Did she not see Gandhi's quote every day? Then it clicked. It wasn't her. She wasn't to blame. The plaque was in English. She was Tamil, in a Tamil Nadu village bank. Her English was probably limited. Rather peeved, though, job undone, I left with a firm decision to get the quote translated into Tamil, so I could print it and bring it in, and not during the lunch hour. Be the change you wish to see in the world. And that was also a quote from Gandhi.